Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex and today we're going to speak about payment methods. Let's begin. Payment methods are located at Administration – Payment Methods. In this section you can adjust the set of payment methods that your customers can use to pay for their orders. For convenience, all methods are arranged in a single list representing the name of the method, its current status and a few control elements. Change the position of payment methods at checkout by simply drag and drop them. Now let's add a new payment method and learn more about settings. The General tab contains basic parameters of the method. Name – it's just the name of the payment method displayed at checkout. Processor – is the online payment system that will process the payments made through this payment method. Offline processor is used when the payment method does not involve online processing. As you can see, there are lots of processors and you can set only one processor per one payment method. Line processors always require additional configuration. First of all, if you want to use a certain online processor, you need to register an account with this payment system. After that, you need to enter all received credentials on the Configure tab. Also, it is worth mentioning that most of these payment processors are added through add-ons. For example, on the Add-ons page, there is the PayPal Payments add-on that adds all processors related to PayPal. What's next? Template determines which fields to display for the payment method at checkout. You can select the template only if you set processor to offline. For example, Credit Card has its own template that differs from the template of check or phone ordering. Payment Category Select the category the payment method belongs to. Payment categories will appear on the checkout page as tabs if several payment methods are assigned to different categories. Categories group payment methods and make it easier for your customers to find the desired payment methods at checkout. User groups – you can set payment methods to be available for certain groups only. Enter a brief description of the payment method. This description appears on the checkout page. Surcharge for using this payment method the extra amount of money to be added to the order totals. This can be a flat rate or a percentage. Give a name to your surcharge by filling the surcharge title. Select taxes that should be applied to this payment method. This setting becomes available after the method was created. Provide payment instructions to customers on the usage of the payment method. This doesn't have to be short, actually it's better to be detailed. The instructions can either be written in plain text or formatted in HTML. To make it more clear, you can even add pictures or videos to the instruction. Icon – the icon to depict the payment method on the storefront. By default, at checkout, it is located above the title of the payment method. Before we finish, I would like to remind you that there are two types of payment processors – offline and online. While offline processor can be set up manually, online processor requires individual configuration. Thanks for watching and see you in the next C-Scart videos.